Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and today's video is coming out of Berkeley and it's about an employee who's an engineer who tried to well who didn't try but he did poison his co-worker over a period of time um, but before we get started into the article if you enjoy the videos on this channel if you enjoy the commentary on this channel please like share and subscribe okay so let's get into the uh, article. A Berkeley engineer is behind bars Monday night facing charges that he tried to murder his co-worker by repeatedly poisoning her over the course of nearly a year and a half. Okay, so right there, that is so uncomfortable knowing that you can't even feel safe at work. All right. When you go to work, and you have food, you have drink, you put it in the shared refrigerator, or you sit it on your desk, you're trusting that no one is bothering your things. Um, but <clears throat> as you can see, you can never take your safety for granted. You know, you have to be very watchful over your, over your belongings, including your food. You know, if this man was poisoning her for over a year and a half, he probably was doing it, whatever poison he was giving her, he was giving her in smaller amounts so that she would have, you know, possibly die over a period of time. So, you know, this is just sad that we live in a world where, you know, you really can't feel safe anywhere. Some people can't even feel safe in their own home. Now you can't feel safe at work. You know, it's just getting crazy. So let's get back into the article. David Zhu is accused of premeditated attempted murder in this case. He was working at Berkeley Engineering and Research Incorporated. According to court documents, court records, in October of 2017, Zhu began trying to poison a female uh, fellow engineer, Rong Wan, by mixing a poison and harmful substance with food, drink, and pharmaceutical product that belonged to Wan. Wow, so he was also poisoning her medication. Now, I wonder, you know, what did he have against this woman? Um, is this somebody that turned off his advances? Is it a supervisor he didn't like? Or was he, is he just crazy and deranged that he just wanted to poison somebody? You know, she probably worked side by side with this man every day, had no idea that he was pretty much um, po poisoning her, poisoning everything that she brought to work. I mean, food, drink, medicine, and a pharmaceutical product. You know, did she have all these things sitting out or did he have to even go on her purse or did he have to go in her desk to find some of these items? You know, this is just very disturbing. Juan allegedly noted a strange taste or smell from her water and food left attended in her office, left unattended in her office. So he was going in her office, according to the criminal complaint. She later began experience immediate and significant health problems after consuming this water and food at times requiring emergency care at a hospital. So that's telling us that um, she was having uh, symptoms of his poisoning more than one time. Because it says that at times she had to go to the emergency room. So I guess unless they know the test for poisoning, they probably didn't know that that's what was causing it, that she was being deliberately poisoned. Authorities said in the complaint that Juan suspected Zhu of poisoning her after seeing him appear to slip something in her water bottle on office surveillance video on two separate occasions. A sample of the water later, te later tested positive for toxic levels of cad cadmium, a substance, a substance that can cause cancer or death. Okay, so I don't know if she set up the surveillance camera or if it was just a, you know, just a camera that was already set up that caught him putting these substances into her, um, her water. But I'm so glad that they, they caught her. They caught him and they tested that water because had he continued to poison her, she would have, you know, contracted cancer 
or, you know, on worst case scenario, she would have died. So I'm not sure how the camera came into place. I don't know if she was becoming suspicious and she just, she set it up or if it was already a camera set up. A blood sample from Juan also contained elevated levels of cad cadmium. Zhu is also facing charges of allegedly poisoning two of Wong's relative, relatives who drank from her water bottle. Okay, so someone drank after her and, and, you, and drank from the same water bottle that he was poisoning. And they also got sick. So mm. an employee reached by phone at Berkeley Engineering and Research, Inc. had no comment on the allegations. Okay, so that's the end of the article. Okay, yeah, so as I was saying earlier, you know, we have to be careful everywhere. You have to guard everything. You know, you cannot feel a sense of safety these days, even when you're at work. You know, you put your food in the in the employee refrigerator, you sit your items on your desk, and you're trusting that when you're not around those things, people are not bothering them. But you never know what's going on in someone's mind. You never know who secretly does not like you, you know, and, and that's working beside you every day that would try to do something like this. No one wants to think that their fellow workers are capable of this. But here you have an engineer, you know, an engineer who is poisoning his co-workers, okay? I'm quite sure their work environment is not the worst in the world. <laughs> but why would he try to poison her, you know? And the article really didn't discuss that. But I'll probably try to keep following up on this case to um, find out what's going to happen with this um, with this young man to try to poison his co-worker and um, so I'll keep you posted as I find out new information and hopefully we can find out why exactly um, did he do this so that concludes today's video again if you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the commentary please like share and subscribe bye